Welcome back. So in the last lecture, we went over the concept of potential energy in a uniform electric field and how we can find the potential energy by finding the amount of work that would be done by the electrostatic force. Uh, from this, we learned that the electrostatic potential energy in a uniform electric field is equal to Q, the charge, times the electric field, times the displacement in meters. Uh, this is very similar to the case of gravitational potential energy, where the potential energy is mgh. If we know the change in potential energy, then we can find the uh, change in kinetic energy. And so if then we can find the velocity of a charged particle after it has moved a, a certain distance through an electric field, uh, assuming, of course, we know the mass of the particle. The main trick uh, when we move from a, a uniform gravitational field to uniform electric field is the difference between positive and negatively charged particles. If we have a positively charged particle, it accelerates in the direction of the electric field. That means a positively charged particle moves with the electric field, so that means the potential energy is decreasing and the kinetic energy is increasing. If you move the positively charged particle against the electric field, then the potential energy is increasing, just like you're pushing it uphill, and the kinetic energy is decreasing. Fine, uh, this is pretty much the same as gravity. However, if we have a negatively charged particle, everything flips. The negatively charged particle feels a force that is in the opposite direction of the electric field. So if a negatively charged particle moves in the same direction as the electric field, it gains potential energy and it loses kinetic energy, while if it moves against the electric field, it gains kinetic energy and uh, loses potential energy. Also, the potential energy depends on the charge of our particle, so if we have an arrangement of charges, the potential energy depends both on the amount of charge and uh, whether or not it is positive or negative. So to simplify this, we define the potential. The potential is different from the potential energy. The potential is equal to the change in potential energy divided by the charge of the particle moving through the field. That means that the potential of an arrangement of charges is set, and if we want to know the potential energy, we can just take the potential and multiply by the charge. I want to reiterate that uh, the potential and potential energy are not the same. It's really easy on some of the multiple choice questions to see potential and read potential energy or vice versa. So if you do that, then your answer may be way off. The potential is to the potential energy as the electric field is to the electric force. The potential tells us how much potential energy a spot could have if you placed a charge there, just like how the electric field tells you how much force a charge would feel if you put a charge there. So uh, now let's look at our two plates again with our positive plate on the left and our negative plate on the right. That means that our electric field is pointing to the right. So our electric potential uh, is the electric potential energy per unit charge. The units for potential is uh, joules per coulomb, which is called a volt. So I'm sure you've all heard about uh, voltage many times before. It means the amount of energy you would get if a certain amount of charge moved through that voltage. So if we look at our plates and we put a positive charge there, it will feel a force to the right. If we take away that charge and we think about the possibility of the force that a positive charge will feel, uh, that is the electric field and it also points to the right. We can do the same thing with potential. So when the positive charges, um, charge moves to the right, its potential energy decreases as it gains kinetic energy. That means the potential, the potential energy divided by the charge, also decreases as we move to the right. If we had a negative charge as we move to the right, the potential energy would increase, but if we divide that uh, change in potential energy by the uh, negative charge, we would we would again get that the uh, potential is decreasing as we move to the right. So to be more quantitative about this, the change in the potential energy is minus one times the charge times the electric field times the displacement. Because if we are moving a positive charge in the same direction as the electric field, the potential energy decreases. So uh, the change in the potential is minus one times the electric field times the displacement. It's probably useful to think about how much potential energy a positively charged particle will change. If the positively charged particle is uh, losing potential energy, then the potential will decrease. If the uh, positively charged particle is gaining potential energy, then the potential will increase. Notice that if you start from the potential and want to get the potential energy, you just multiply the change in potential by the charge. 
and the sine of the charge will take care of the sine of the potential energy. If we move a positive charge to the right, the potential uh, decreases and the potential energy decreases. If we move a negative charge to the right, the potential decreases, but the potential energy increases because the uh, decreasing potential is multiplied by the negative charge to then give a increasing potential energy. So yeah, uh, this is the standard unit. Uh, volts is used for uh, batteries and electric lines because it tells you how much energy you can get if you push a certain amount of charge or a certain amount of current across that voltage. Also notice that if we uh, graph the potential as a function of position, the slope of the graph is the negative of the electric field. That's because the larger the electric field, the uh, more rapid the change in the potential, and the potential moves down in the direction of the force because our positive particle will roll down the potential, so to speak. So uh, the slope is negative in the direction that the positive particle will move. And then the steeper the slope is, then uh, the larger the change in the potential. So now uh, we, uh, we want to look at a problem. So here we have an electric field, again, pointing to the right, with a strength of 2,500 newtons per coulomb. If the field is pointing to the right, that means the potential is increasing to the left, with the high potential being next to the positively charged plate and the low potential uh, being next to the negatively charged plate. In this case, uh, we are moving from point B to point A against the electric field, so the potential is increasing. To find the magnitude, the magnitude is the electric field times the distance in meters, so the distance here is 10 centimeters, so the electric field is 2,500 newtons per coulomb times 0.1 meters to give us a uh, uh, potential of 250 volts. Okay, so uh, nice and easy. Uh, finding the voltage from the uh, field is a piece of cake. All we need is the distance, and uh, you know we have to think a little bit about the uh, direction. Uh, so if you're moving against the electric field, your potential increases. If you're moving with the potential, your I mean with the electric field, your potential decreases. But that's really just what happens with a positive charge, so it should be uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, that means we don't really have to think about whether the charge itself is negative or positive. Okay, so uh, you have a few questions to answer about potential, and then we're going to apply it to some problems here that uh, uh, include kinetic energy. Good luck.